It's time for another Whiskey Riffs Recycle Review, and I've got so many bottles that we're not even going to do guitar riffs today. Only riffing is going to be on all the whiskeys that I'm going to try to do in under 10 minutes, so let's do this. Welcome to Whiskey Riffs. I'm Kevin, and this is going to be a little different format than usual. I have a lot of bottles to get through, see how many I can do in about 10 minutes or so, and uh, give you as much information as I can in that short period of time out of this big bag of bottles, which has been building up for quite a while. I didn't just go binging in a month. So let me grab the first bottle and let's get started with this. First bottle, Glen Park was 12. This is a Highland Scotch whiskey, 43% ABV, and one of my favorite go-to whiskeys because it's affordable and it's a really lovely Highland Scotch and it's got an age statement on it. So if you can get a 12-year Scotch, uh, for a decent price, I think it's more like the uh, $50 range for this bottle. Excellent. I highly recommend it, and I think I have a little bit more in here. Classic Highland taste. Uh, all the notes are there. Go for it. If you like Highland Scotch, this should be on your list of at least to try. I also save the corks all the time because it's a good thing to have those when they break, and they do break every so often. Grab another bottle. All right, this is a Powers Single Pot Still Irish Whiskey, uh, the Three Swallow release. Uh, Powers is a more affordable brand than some of the other Irish whiskeys, and it kind of comes out that way in the taste. I think it's a little bit uh, light on multiple flavors. Uh, in fact, I'm having a really hard time even, oh, there it is. Uh, this is actually 43.2% proof. It's a little light for an Irish whiskey I prefer to be up there in the 46 range. It's not bad. Uh, it just is a little metallic, a little thin. Doesn't exactly give me all those uh, layers of flavors that I'm looking for. Let's grab another one. Ardbeg 5. Uh, Ardbeg came out with this fairly recently, last couple of years, the Wee Beastie, and I love it. I think it's a great Ardbeg whiskey. I think it has all the notes that you're looking for in Ardbeg, that, that uh, sea salts, the, the campfire. Uh, it's a 47.4% alcohol by volume, which is a great ABV. Can't beat this. I really enjoy it, and uh, I think there's nothing in here. Yeah, like one drop. Woo! But even that one drop was a lot of campfire, a lot of peat, delicious. I am a big fan of Ardbeg's peat flavor. There's a lot of different peat flavors. If you tried an Isla whiskey, and you think it tastes like a Band-Aid or medicine, you need to try a few other ones because this is not medicinal, this is not Band-Aid. That's more Laphroaig. This is Campfire. This is uh, Isla Coastline. Love this whiskey. Would get Wee Beastie again in a heartbeat. And I probably did, I don't know, maybe I have it, I don't know. I've got reviews on these two. I'll try to put all the links to them in the notes. Let me grab the other bottle. Oh, we're still in Isla. One of my absolute favorites. I love Port Charlotte, heavily peated. It's a 10 year Isla whiskey and it comes in at 50% ABV. So that's hundred proof. And you can really taste a lot of that. And this cork is a horrible cork. There's nothing in here. I'm really sad. I would like to have a drop of this. All right, I gotta buy another bottle of this. Uh, Port Charlotte, heavily peated. If you like, uh, ah! Okay, hold on, the corks. This, this cork sucks anyway. Yeah, if you want a uh, good 10 year Isla whiskey that's really, it says heavily peated, but it's a nice heavy peat. It's not one of those uh, slap you around. It's more of a hug you really hard kind of peat. So, love this one. Add that to my list of always gonna get. I must have drank all the art bags at once. Here's another art bag of mine. This one's harder to get. Uh, this is the Kill Dalton, and I think I got this at the distillery. It is 46 ABV. I don't remember too much about the, the flavors of it. I know I liked it, and I know I don't have a chance of getting it again, or a really rare chance, and there's nothing in there to speak of. Dang it. But it's an art bag, and if I get my hands on another Kill Dalton, I will definitely grab it. It came in a nice, fancy package that I probably have over down there still. Yeah. So it's one of my top whiskeys, but I can't have it. So it's going to be one of those, if I ever find it again, I'm going to grab a bottle. Don't think I can 
today. Let's get another bottle. All right, we are back in the Highlands. This is Glen Morangy, and this is the Quinto Rubin. I know I have another bottle of Quinto Rubin in my cabinet because I had it the other day, and I love this whiskey. This is a Highland Scotch, but it's got a port cask finish, and it's 14 years, and it shows. Uh, it is at a 46% ABV, so kind of that minimum level that you want to have for a, an aged whiskey. Just, you get all the Highland notes, plus you get that lovely port finish. It's just, I don't know, it, it speaks to me. And if you enjoy any kind of wine finishes on whiskeys, I highly recommend trying the Kinterubin. Well worth the price. Ah, yeah. Even that little drop. It, the, the, the drops that you get out of the bottle are not going to be the best drops. And the reason is, Whiskey doesn't do well in the bottle when there's like one dram or less in there. You need to drink the whiskey. And that's why a lot of these bottles are empty. I had a lot that were really close to empty. Let me go grab another one, see what I got. Okay, if you want to talk about medicinal, you want to talk about something that might have a little bit of a, a Band-Aid taste, I don't get that. But I do, I do get the iodine and the, the more sharp uh, peat notes from Laphroaig 10. This is classic. Uh, people love it or hate it. It's one of those divisive whiskeys. Do you like Laphroaig 10? Okay, I do. It was one of the first Isla whiskeys I ever tasted, so I grew up kind of enjoying it when growing up. I mean, I was close to 50 when I had it, so it's not like I was fed this as a kid. Let me see anything in here. A lot of work for one drop, but it's 58.6 alcohol by volume, which means it's a potent kick. There's different bottlings of the 10-year, so Take a look, make sure what your ABV is on them. Check those out, but if you really like to get punched around a little bit, before like 10, that's right there for you. Okay, let's grab another. Buffalo Trace. Come back to America here, grab some good Kentucky straight bourbon. Buffalo Trace is a classic, classic bourbon. It is easy to drink. It is affordable. I think it's only like around me, 22, 23 bucks. Not too bad. And I really like the flavors. It's certainly not an Isla whiskey. It's got all those lovely bourbon notes in it. Yeah, I'm going to cap that again. What the hell? If you like bourbon and you want something that's affordable, and you haven't tried Buffalo Trace, you're missing out. Buffalo Trace whiskey. Get you some. All right, let's see. Where are we now? Another bottle. Highland Park 12. This is a really nice whiskey. Uh, single malt scotch, 43% ABV, a little light on the ABV, which is one of the reasons I don't often get a Highland Park 12. This is the Viking Honor. It, even though it's a 12-year whiskey, it doesn't hit the whiskey notes for me. I don't dislike the flavor, but I'm not in love with it. And I don't tend to go back and get Highland Park very much. I don't know. It's just not mine. I don't have anything bad to say about it. If you like it, that's great. I just prefer others. I'll grab another bottle. Okay, this one's kind of unique. Uh, this is a special bottling of uh, Alexander Murray and Company, um, and I can't even pronounce the distillery, uh, Tianic Distillery, single malt, 13 year. You'll probably never find this. It's a single cask whiskey. Uh, it's a hogshead cask. Only 250 bottles produced. I probably got this at a, a, a local store. There was a special in store. Oh, it's Craft Whiskey, Whiskey Club. Okay, well that's why I have it. Craft sent it to me. They do a good job. I got the links down in my uh, description if you want to try out Craft. You get some really unique bottles that you can't get on store shelves, and that's how I got this one. If I remember right, this was a lovely uh, Scotch whiskey, and I think I really enjoyed it. Odds of getting again are almost nil. Even that drop was good. A lot of uh, dark fruit flavors, uh, some like raisins and, and things like that. Very nice, uh, even on that last drop. No chance of getting it, sorry about that. Let me grab another bottle, one maybe you can get. Okay, this is interesting. I uh, haven't had this in a while. This is a Westland uh, Gariana, and it's an American single malt whiskey. Uh, it's a 2018 edition, 3.1, a native oak series. 
So they do quite a few different uh, types of caskings and that gives them the different flavors. Uh, I like Westland, I really do. I don't know if I remember much about this one and the drop that's in here isn't gonna do it for me. 56% ABV and non-chill filtered. Uh, quality whiskeys, I, I like a lot of the Westland whiskeys and I would recommend them if you're looking around for something unique as American whiskeys. Uh, go for them. I don't remember if I love this one, but they have a lot of different experimental whiskeys. And, uh, you know, try it out. One more. Let's do one more. Okay. Abelur Abuna. I love this whiskey. I love this so much. This is one of my favorite. It's a 59.5% ABV. It's a Highland Scotch whiskey. Spanish Oloroso casks, the sherry boots. And they're just so good. There's nothing in here. There's nothing in here. Dry as a bone. Damn it. I do love Apollo though. And uh, if you can get your hands on this, if you like sherry finishes on whiskeys, this is just a wonderful whiskey. And I always try to have this around. I gotta check and see if I have one. I think I do. And I may have to have some of that tonight because this is reminding me of how much I really love this whiskey. All right, we got through a dozen bottles. That's pretty good. I hope we got in under 10 minutes here. I'm not really timing it. Move some bottles here so I can give a little bit of a toast to end us. I'm gonna to toast with uh, Yellow Spot. It's uh, my last episode. I was using this one. It happens to be in the room. So let's go ahead and pour a little bit so we can do a proper send off as we have to for every video. Thank you for being here. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like, subscribe please if you can, and um, take care of yourself, take care of those around you. Until we see each other in the next video, cheers. Now I have to take these downstairs because they're recycled. This is good too. Good whiskeys. It's a tough job.